Hello and welcome back to another episode of XCOM 2, Long War of the Chosen. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing the Long War of the Chosen Legendary Iron Man playthrough, Operation Frost Star, where we want to yet again get a resistance computer for a lot of intel. And we got the prime team, the Grey Knights. Hogbite and his uh, friends are going to infiltrate and I want to bring these gunnery sergeants to Master Sergeant and Sonar. He's still a little bit behind the curve. A good news though, um, the Grandiers will now have a big fat buff as I finally got the incendiary grenades done. All right, let's go. Good, land it. Let's go guys, let's go. We are in good concealment, which means Hogbite can utilize that to our advantage. Ooh, wow, full patrol. Uh oh. Okay. Well, if we don't want to be Let's do this. spotted out, then everybody needs to get up here. That way, if concealment breaks with a drone, we're not going to lose that much. Okay, I'm going to get closer to the actual exit point. Drone is likely going to spot us out. No, just bar barely not. Wow, okay. We want to break concealment. I think not a bad idea. I, for my I mainly want to get focus and into proper position for next round. Good, two focus. That's um, already very good. Agnuber takes the kill and Implacable moves on. Also combat rush. Sona saying I'm going to go into into stealth mode in a second. Right into the shadows. Let's see what we're dealing with down there. Their clumsy patrol is moving. Interesting. Let's furthermore make sure we can evac. This is Firebrand. Evac request confirmed. Hold tight. Reaper moves into a decent position over here. We could technically hack next turn. Which we may or may not want to do. Okay, we need to trigger these guys. So how about how about we are starting to move up and there? just get them in position and then we'll take it from there. The mechs are threatening. Pretty sizable. <laughs> Clever placement. 
and I expected that you guys would do that. So the one that is not next to a car, let's start with hitting you. Okay, cool. Easy. Well, next up, uh, handing over teamwork, and then we're going to use the this car in the explosion, which should also give us a couple of losts. Might as well kill that stun lancer there. Okay, we're putting in uh, the serial overdrive and let's take a look. Well, this guy is easy to kill, we leave him uh, for last. Five, we're not ignoring armor. Seven to 11, well, that's a great kill. Blood trail for the win. Good, in the meantime, how about, we do have death from above, right? Yeah, we do. Just getting this guy down. And this guy. Good. Fantastic to be uh, to be absolutely fair. Getting the mech. Mech down, smack down. Okay, cool. So we still got the guy back there. And lots of losts. Guy back there. Uh, gets easily taken out with Void Conduit. Oh yeah, we can see the void. Let's go, baby. Taking out the other stun lancer. Three to seven, not very good. We're going to be revealed anyway, so might as well take the <coughs> higher chance to hit or alternatively just move to there because that'll give us a huge advantage. Good, end of turn. I think that was a solid round. These guys are coming up. They should all trigger Blade Storm. Things are positioning. Good, that's one down. Nah. Damn 
damage too low to get lost down. It's a bit worrying. What? He gets a counterattack? I beg your pardon. seeing reinforcements incoming okay cool good for the reinforcements I suppose <laughs> minimum damage okay I'll tell you what But really charges his focus. Same moves over here because we want to get the sector commander. Keep it going. You can't handle me. <clears throat> We're hacking the workstation. Almost. Reload. Soon we can enter the shadows again. Oh no, oh, the reload. Yeah, okay, we only had one action. Never mind. Good to go. Okay, look, we're just going to make sure that no one comes up here. Could have maybe done that over here or here, but okay, whatever. And one for all. Reinforcements. Where are they going to land? On high ground? Okay, so it's going to be a fight up here. <coughs> I like that. I like that a lot. Ooh, they're taking our created cover. Interesting. Okay, <coughs> can't hit them. 
and also need to deal with some of the problems here. Let's get a trooper down. <coughs> what? Minimum damage. Come on. Good, we'll get the Reaper over there. Grenadier is taken out. Ogbyt gets a rescue protocol. And I actually thought that would give him one for all. Because typically he does have that as a movement action. I'll think about it, whether or not we really need that protocol then. Good one down. And we're doing implacable to here. That took care of the reinforcements. More reinforcements. Okay. Well, so be it. Apparently, they drop right on top of us. That's a hot and heavy drop. I got to survive one more round and then we can gently move out of here. Yeah, well, it's not looking that bad. Fortunately, we're losing the loot. Down.
Good, this will be a Bladestorm kill. And <coughs> we're ensuring Combat Protocol kill. Free reload. We haven't even used cereal so far. I think we're fine. We don't need to use it. Seven points of damage. Lord have mercy. Let's just make sure this guy dies for sure. Next turn we're going to extract, so we all good. <clears throat> this time they're dropping on the streets. help them by the way they will still be slaughtered but our job is to get out of here so no point in farming them we got uh, quite a few kills and we were successful oh, this is a bit unfortunate this is firebrand it's time to go But this will trigger a whole lot of uh, enemies. Luckily we infiltrated enough. to here as for you but moves in and out Okay, so what I wanted to do before we go is a little parting gift, so to speak.
was to throw a frag grenade and kill as many as possible. But I think, um, given that Sonar doesn't have the actions for that, we're just going to call it quits. We showed them who's boss and there's no point in just rubbing it in anymore. But the explosion of the car back there plus a uh, serial cleanup with our gunner would have been a fantastic finish. With 25 kills we have already exceeded I think uh, the amount of experience that we could get. So yeah not sure that anything would have changed if we would have stayed potentially not. Nice. So, are we going to take uh, Apothesis? That would be great. Iconic Storm, 4 turns cooldown, double damage to Psionic levels. That always was good and Ghost was fine as well. Specifically with Bladestorm. Ghost starts focus equal to focus level when created minus one. Cannot gain focus, disappears. Rent costs one focus. <clears throat> Ghost must be cast on a corpse. Yep, that's normal. Five five turns cooldown now. Okay. Uh, Ghost cannot gain following abilities. Shield bear, shield abilities, deflect, reflect, solace, void, conduit, blade storm. Okay, they nerfed it. I see. The blade storm ghost was just a little bit too much for them. Got you. Apathesis, free action. More powerful for two turns. Needs three focus. Increases all damage by 50%. Uh, uh, for any focus above uh, two. So that's 100% for three, is how I'm reading that. 40 dodge. Four mobility. Is there a way of getting like four focus? Okay. Hmm. Um, Apothesis looks good offensively uh, as well as defensively, so not sure if. Uh, I mean, not sure if we should take something else. The Ionic Storm is good as a big fat grenade, but also ends the turn, so that was always a big problem with it. So. I would say we're starting with Apothesis, and since we can take multiples, it's not a problem. Arcwave is one of the things that I would like to get next. Um, channel isn't bad either, mainly because we can collect more uh, focus. For 20 points we get Lone Wolf, which is a huge defense bonus. The aim one is not so important for me, but the defense bonus actually is. And something like face off with a pistol isn't bad either. Um, specifically, if you have Lone Wolf, for instance, where you get um, plus 12 bonus to aim as well. Crusader's Rage is also great. Also reduces wound recovery uh, by the uh, by the soldier by eight hit points, which means he's mm, that's that's really good. The wound recovery alone is great. All of these are really good, but so is impact compensation, right? Uh, because we're taking less damage, then less damage for brawler i think we're first of all going to like build him as a tank because that's primarily what he's supposed to do and then combine it with crusader's rage and i think we don't have enough ability points to do much more than that um, yeah good sonar finally gets there salvo great volatile mix fabulous as well I think we're going to do that, and I've already mentioned um, Chain Shot uh, could be a good option here. Untouchable also good option. 
On the other hand, biggest booms uh, is uh, what's interesting and uh, volatile mix would be interesting as well. But we're going to see how that plays out. Gotta be really picky with your abilities uh, because uh, there are only so many ability points to go around. How's this here, by the way? Ah, almost done. At 150, we can infiltrate. Good. Look at that. Scientist. We can still do a couple of easy missions here. South Africa recruitment. And we got another actual recruit. Okay, so that's an easy mission which means we might as well take a lower uh, level team salamander seem perfect for this uh, six days infiltration everybody gets some experience um, yeah that i mean it's not bad and we get a scientist on top of it in terms of grenades we now got incendiary grenades so i want to have a little bit of that. That is good. Let me just equip everybody. Okay, ready, set, go. Let's fly to the mission. Another scientist wouldn't be bad. Good. Double checking. I wanted to also infiltrate uh, that other HQ in India, and I want to make sure that we do have uh, someone available. We could use actual grey knights. Uh, lots of uh, them are tired, but we could use grey knights plus a couple of others. Grey knights too would be at some point also available. Space Wolves definitely not in the in the condition to uh, to go into that mission, but we could use Grey Knights in order to infiltrate. Um, putting a psionic character on top of it and maybe a mech, then that would be six, eight. Yeah, yeah, they are ready. Might as well use them. And we're going to spend intel in order to uh, boost that as well so let me uh, fix that real quick okay fair enough and let's boost this because i don't want to wait days at end Okay, both of the HQs are currently happening. What happened here, by the way? Oh yeah, never mind. That was too uh, close to actually get it done. And if I'm not mistaken, we had a couple of recruits as well. All right. 63 aim. That's pretty average. Good movement and mobility. That's not bad either. What do we need as a class? A couple of five assaults is what we got. Uh, we're short on grenadiers. We're already training one, but another one wouldn't be bad. I think we needed specialists as well. Five rangers. Got a grenadier training at the moment. Plenty of sharpshooters. Plenty of shinobis. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We do have enough specialists, but I'm always wondering. One, two, three, four, five technicians. Hmm. Could be a specialist. I'm always wondering in terms of SWATs. Uh, so we do have a specialist here in the Grey Knights. This is Grey Knights too, so it's just the extension, so to speak. Got a specialist here, got a specialist here. Got a specialist here. Are training a specialist here. 
we're missing a specialist here and we have a specialist in the iron hands where I'm wondering why whether this here would have been the right call to actually get a specialist into these salamanders because we do have a lot of damage here and currently the grenadier is using the med kit i actually like specialist as an enabler class it's good and having having not only six but seven um, in a team isn't bad either two four five we even have too little in the gray knights so Let's get a specialist in here for now. Mainly because we're typically five uh, personing uh, missions. Okay, that looks fine. So for me, it checks out that we potentially are short one specialist. Um, another Shinobi could be good as well. Decent aim, but not superior aim. So uh, the uh, kind of shooting classes, I wouldn't necessarily uh, do one more. We got plenty. So it's either grenadier or specialist. And in terms of grenadier, we only have three. We're getting a fourth one now with uh, our training. We're getting one more ranger from a mission, so that one is okay. But we only have three grenadiers, right? So to that extent, might want to train another one. Hmm. Or we'll just make him a specialist. and take it from there good any other training zukuger could get additional training okay fantastic and psi training is on the way Increasing bonds, also important. So yeah, we're doing a lot of training. Operation goes to tomb, start liberating the region. That's nine, uh, one day 19, very... Hmm. Supply rate, one hour, okay. Eight days. Okay. The game all of a sudden decides, you know what? Uh, now we're getting all of the missions. So uh, let's do one at a time. We could get the ultramarines through the network tower and then have them ready. So for starters, we also got a new recruit here for Intel. Let's just double check. Swap management and Haven management. All right, resistance management. Anyone in hiding? New. Okay, good. I think we're fine here. Global Advent Strength 62 Legions. Well, that's fine. Good for them. I think in terms of recruitment, we have nothing else. Good. And now back to who can actually be on missions. These guys here are tired. 
So not much that is happening over the next four days here. Space Wolves could stop the bond training and then we're ready-ish for a mission. Got the Iron Hands. You know, we could we could field two missions. It won't be pretty. But, and we got the Ultramarines, so well, that's not bad either. I don't uh, worry about that mission. I much more worry about this one here. Willing to spend intel to start liberating the region. It's always difficult to get that uh, chain going, so just for the purpose of putting people onto this. Yeah. Even solo, boosted. Yeah, we're looking at way too many enemies. This mission is not happening. This mission on the other side might be happening. Question is, that's eight days, eight hours. At that point, we might have liberated the region. So... Not sure, not sure. The chosen stronghold isn't going anywhere, but as of yet, we don't have a way of getting inside. Hmm. We should keep working with the resistance. Well, that is, it would be okay for Intel, but listen, I mean, if this year is liberated, then what's the point? What's the point? It's likely none, because. This here will only take six days, <clears throat> which means can we infiltrate this mission in five days with a team that can take up to 25 enemies? And the answer there is likely no. Let's not kid ourselves. This here, unfortunately, Oh, hmm. yeah, well, that changes things. This is a chosen attack. So let's stop the bond training. The Space Wolves, who are typically in this campaign coming in clutch for the rescue, might be going in. Let me find a team. Okay, difficult. We are of course being attacked and I scratched together the Space Wolves plus friends, I would call that team. And we will go to do Operation Unseizing Thorn the next time that we play. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. Really, truly appreciate that. And have a great day. If you want to support uh, this playthrough, leave a comment and a like down below. That always helps the algorithm. And see you in the next episode. Bye-bye.